Okay, I got a first and second. All those in favor say aye. Like sign. Any statements from, and remarks from citizens? Seeing none. Statements, remarks from commissioners? I think Amory wants to make a statement? Mr. Chris, I do. I, I attended uh, on behalf of uh, Chairman Daniel the uh, Northeast Georgia Regional Trans Transit Development Plan Advisory Committee meeting. Now, the key word here is transit, not transportation. 
uh, it's in conjunction with the Georgia Department of Transportation Regional Commissioners holding a series of meetings to develop this uh, regional plan. And they have a flyer I, I gave each of y'all to participate, invite you to participate in the virtual open house and then take their survey. And uh, it's open through uh, November the 10th. Thank you. Thank you. First item of business will be the budget items discuss a change order of the fire engine 701. Justin. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. In this case, um, Fire Station 7, uh, which is Bogart, has a new Sutton fire engine on order. Part of the station and the city's request is to have some additional items placed on there, specifically a generator and a few other things. Uh, the city of Bogart is covering the cost. This is a request for a change order of $29,820.04 in order to accommodate those items. Uh, to fully provision the new fire station uh, seven. Uh, upon completion of this, all fire stations will have something engines located at them. Thank you. So I need a motion for this. Motion to approve the change order. Yes. Do you, we, we could just move this to consent. If Okay, sorry about that. Anyone have any issue with moving to consent? I, it, that consider, I thought we had to vote on it tonight, so sorry about that. All right, moving on to number two, discuss the Bear Creek Water Treatment Plant Expansion Design Services. Uh, in that, um, sorry, I messed up. We're going back to number one, discuss considering an intergovernmental agreement with GDOT and resolution of connection with lighting of roads and other purposes. Jody? Good evening, uh, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners. The item of business is a uh, lighting agreement and resolution for State Route 316 at Dials Mill Road, Dials Mill Extension, State Route 316 at Jimmy Daniel Road, State Route 316 at Virgil Langford Road, and State Route 316 at Oconee Connector. And the it's a lighting agreement for uh, the projects that are coming up, and the lighting will follow GDOT specifications. And what this uh, the the agreement spells out is that Georgia DOT would provide the materials and the construction of the lighting at the intersections. And then the county would take on the monthly uh, power cost and the maintenance, which would be included in the power cost as well. Uh, this is very similar to other lighting agreements we have. The board has approved for the two roundabouts, um, State Route 53, the ones at Snows Mill and Ray's Church, the, the board did uh, authorize those as well. So the recommendation would be to approve the um, the lighting agreement and uh, adopt the resolution and then execute both of those for the four intersections and the financial impact, as I stated before, would, would be the monthly electricity charge for the lights. Any questions? Uh, it sounds pretty clear, but this is only for the intersections, not the, the entire scope of the work that's correct is the lighting at the four intersections okay thank you Jody, are the lighting will be put in once the interchanges are approved or are they going to go ahead and put this they would do it as part of the interchange uh overpass construction project okay. so that's correct that's correct Any questions from the audience? Seeing none, I did get ahead of myself. We will need a motion on this. So I need a first and a second for this. Make a motion to approve the intergovernmental agreement with G GDOT and a resolution uh, in connection with the lighting of the roads. Having a first and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Like sign. Moving on to Bear Creek. Justin. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. The Upper Oconee, um, based on um, Watershed Authority, um, has entered RFQP um, for design of the upgrade of the treatment, the water treatment facility from 21 MGD to 42 MGD. 
uh, the aggregate cost to Jacobs would be two million two hundred ninety eight thousand two hundred seventy nine thousand dollars. Sorry, two million two hundred ninety eight thousand two hundred seventy nine dollars. The uh, Oconee County's portion of that share would be five hundred forty seven thousand two hundred twenty dollars and twenty three cents. Um, the, we're recommending entering into the agreement to pay the county share for the treatment upgrade. This would come out of the enterprise funds already account. Happy to answer any questions you may have. Any questions? Looking at the price of what the design services going to cost, what is the actual project going to cost? Right. A lot. Uh, Chairman, do you, do you have any more details on that? Not currently, no. Not not to get out tonight, I don't. Yeah, we don't at this point. No, yeah. We can get that for you, though. I mean, somewhat. Didn't have it with us. Any questions from the audience? Seeing none, let's be, will this be on the consent agenda then? Will this be moved to consent agenda? Any objections to moving to the consent agenda? And none. Miss Holly, new alcohol license for Costa Allegra Seafood and Grill. Any questions? Any questions from the audience? We will move this consent agenda if there's no objections with the contingency on the two things being completed. Any objections to that? Seeing none. We do not have a need for an executive session. Motion, I need somebody to motion. Make a motion to adjourn. I got a first and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. We are adjourned.